okay so i have my blank document you can go ahead and create a new document if you want but i just got rid of everything i had so in this document i am going to be diving into more html tag so the first thing i need to do is have my boilerplate tag so shift one to get the exclamation mark and tab so i can have my doc type my html and all those syntactic sugar that i need so i'm going to change the title i'm going to call it my because favorite food because i'm going to be writing about my favorite food in this video so let's save uh, let me just refresh you can see the title says my favorite food which is fine now we learned about the h1 tag or heading tag so i'm going to use h1 to just say my favorite food just so i have something big good like so and then i'm going to introduce you to another tag which is like the paragraph tag now we don't go ahead to say paragraph tag fortunately we have a short way of writing which is just saying p so p you can call it p tag or in full call it the paragraph tag so we use this anytime we want to add a new paragraph so i can just go ahead and say my favorite food it's uh i don't have a favorite food so i'll just go and say rice and stew okay so you can see what that looks like you can see the size it's not as big as the h1 it's not bold it's just kind of like a plain text so that's what we use the p tag for now i can go ahead and add another p tag on a new line remember to add new lines you have to take your cursor very mindful of your where your cursor is take it to the end of that line or that statement and hit enter so you can go to the new line if my cursor were let's say inside in between the p tags and i hit enter yes it will take me to a new line but i'll still be typing inside this p tag okay uh, that might be what you want that is fine uh in fact i'm just gonna go ahead and write more things here say i like the aroma of stew and save let's spell that correctly okay so regardless that i i entered a new line on like on line number 14 you can see the text is still on one line because i am still inside this p tag i'm still inside this paragraph now, if I wanted to create a new line, I'd take this particular line here, line number 14, to its own P tag. Okay, so let me just get rid of it and create its own P tag. So I'll do that by going outside the P tag, outside this P tag here, make sure that cursor is outside and hit enter. And I'll create another P tag by saying P and tab. And I'm going to type, I like the aroma of stew okay and save now you would see that it appeared on the browser on the new line this is because we used a new p tag okay that's a new paragraph so we have the first paragraph here then we have a second paragraph underneath uh, let me just make the i capital letter okay so that's how we use paragraph tags or p tags for short let us go ahead and look at more tags now if i wanted to make the content of this p tag to be bold we can actually use another tag now i mentioned in the first video how you can have tags inside tags or in between tags like tags inside tags inside tags so what we're going to do is i'm going just going to get rid of or not get rid of i'm going to bring it back so i'm going to add a b tag so b tag makes things bold i paste that back and save you see i like the aroma of stew becomes bold because we have it inside a b tag so we have a p tag and after the p we have the b tag that makes things bold so you can see the way it goes okay but i'll just get rid of that b tag because i don't i don't need that text to be bold i'll just get rid of that i'll save and uh, another tag we want to look at it's uh the underline tag how can we like uh, have an underline so what i'll do is i'll have a p tag 
and I'll say how to prepare I say rice and stew I'll save so I want to underline this bit so I will add the U tag I can add the opening here okay let me just add the U tag here but now I need to take all of this content inside rather in between this U tag so I'll just carefully highlight just the content Control X X to cut and I move my cursor in between the U tag and say Control V to paste and I'll save you see that text has an underline now so what if I want to make it bold uh, I can also go ahead and have the bold after the U so I say B tab so I have this B tag if I save it this way it's not going to do anything because the content is not inside the B tag so I'll carefully select the content I'll just highlight the content like so Control X and I'll paste that make sure that my cursor is in between the B tag and paste that there and hit save so you can see that bit is bold, it's underlined, and it's on its own paragraph, which is what we want. Good. So we know how to use the P tag, the U tag for underline, and the B tag for making things bold. Now there's also another tag you might use, uh, which is the italics tag to make things to be in italics. So let me just go to a new, a new line. Let me add a paragraph tag. In the paragraph tag, let me add... Uh, an italic tag with just I and tab. So anything I type that, anything I type in between that I tag is going to be in italic. So I'll say ingredients, I'll save. You can see the ingredients is in italics. So I'll just make a capital I, ingredients. Now underneath here, I'm going to make a list of the ingredients that we need for making rice and stew, at least the ones I remember. Now there's a way we can represent lists in HTML by using the unordered list tag now we can do that by just saying ul stands for on other list and i'll hit tab you can see it creates that tag for us now i can just go ahead and write my list let's say rice to me oops sorry tomatoes if i save you can see it doesn't really look like a list now, apart from the UL tag, there's another tag you need to make this actually look like a list and it's called LI. LI stands for list item. Okay. So inside your on other list, we add LIs, LI tags to actually specify what's going to be in the list. Now I'm just going to get rid of this and I'll say LI and then I write the rice inside. So when I save, you can see it even gives a bullet point. So I can go to the new line, another LI, and see, uh, let's say tomatoes, fresh tomatoes actually, because we like things fresh. So because I have this in their own LI tags, you can see it gives it a bullet point. Okay, I can go ahead and see uh, what else do we need. Uh, we need some spice. I say some curry spice. I'll save. You can see that it's on a new line. So I'm making sure that my is outside the li tag. I hit enter so I can add a new li tag. So li tab. Uh, we need some. Let's use some chicken. Uh, yeah, let's add some other li. Let's add some pepper. We're gonna need some pepper and then go outside my li tag. I hit enter, I say li again. What else do we need? Uh, we need some vegetable oil to at least fry the tomatoes. I put on that li, of course, we're gonna need the water. Okay, that's just <laughs> as much as I can remember. So these are the things that we're going to use to prepare this my favorite food. And you can see because we use the on other list, the UL, and then we have the list items inside. You can see it's arranged in bullet points. So this is how we use an on other list. So making sure that my cursor is outside the UL, I'll hit enter, add a P tag. I want to make it, uh, make it italic. So I'll add I tag. And I'll say directions. Is directions? Mm -hmm. I don't know. 
directions should be fine recipe directions uh, I'm not sure now so I have my recipe now under my recipe I want to list the steps you're gonna take in preparing this wonderful food so making sure that my cursor is outside the P tag I hit enter now I'm gonna use the ordered list now the other list the only difference is that you're not gonna have blur points this time you're gonna have numbers like one two three four and the way to use the other list tag is just say ol so that's the short form for other list o and l other list in between that i'll just hit enter so i have some space and in here i'll use the same li to say list item the li tag and just move this a bit li tag stands for list item so whenever we're using a list tag we need to also use it with an li tag a light tag simply means list item so the first thing you need to do it's uh let's say wash your rice wash the rice with some water to you remove any dirt or yeah just remove any dirt is fine so when i save that you can see we have number one i didn't have to type number one here because I used ordered list, the browser kind of like understands that I want to have an ordered list. So another list will have things like one, two, three to show it in order. So it put that number one for me. Thank you, browser. So I can go to the next line, still inside my ordered list tag. Add an li. I'll say boil, boil the rice for. 10 minutes and 10 minutes should be enough right 10 minutes you can see automatically added the uh, the number two then uh, let's say wash the rice I'll wash the rice now uh, um, yeah pour remove every, remove any excess alright let's just say change the water used in boiling the rice in step number two so now i can have a list of uh steps that we need in preparing this my favorite food and because i used other lists it's gonna have these numbers now another tag i want to show you is description list tag now the way that one works it's kind of like works like uh you know how you have a dictionary where you have the word and definition so let's just see that in practice i'll just give some space here by hitting enter and uh let me add a p tag italic tag and in here i'll say keywords i'm just define some things yes i'll save you can see keywords there i'll just go to a new line now the way we use description list it's you must have guessed dl for short i hit tab now the dl kind of like works differently we're not going to be using li this time to signify list item we're going to be using something called dt that just means the data term and the dd that means the data definition so think of it like a dictionary kind of stuff going on here so dt is data term so i want to define what rice is so i hit dt and i'll hit enter watch carefully dd uh i have my dd tag inside there i'll say rice kind of trying to define rice is rice is a grainy cereal i'm not sure now when i hit save if you have a close look at what's going on here you can see the rice it's here fine but the dd definition it's kind of like indented with a tab so there's a tab here here to show the the term itself which is rice and uh, the definition that comes under as dd now after my dd here i can just hit enter and go to another line and say dt again which is define the data term so i'll write what i want to define tomatoes i'll save you can see where it brought tomato to like it brought it outside again and when I hit enter and go to a new line and say DD on a defined tomatoes, uh, what's tomato now? Tomatoes, uh, red, some shows. 
I can spell that correctly. Sumptuous berries. Okay. Are they berries or cherries? I don't really know. I just know tomatoes are tomatoes, but you can see what's going on here. They are all inside the tag called DL, which is the uh, description list. And then in the description list, you need kind of like two tags, the DT to specify the term, data term, and the DD to specify the data definition. So just like how a dictionary is, you have a word and then the definition, you can use this in that manner. So what I want you to do is using what you've learned so far, I want you to have like a write up about your favorite food. Uh, let's just be more elaborate than mine. Kind of like go into details on how to make your favorite food. I didn't want to do that because this video will be very long. So in the next video, we're going to be looking at how to use more tags and how to add images.